Epic is giving players free V-Bucks to settle a lawsuit, COD Mobile is introducing a new mode inspired by Among Us, and lawmakers in one state want to ban GTA. All that and more on today's episode of The Countdown, as we cover five gaming news stories you need to know. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for all the best news and lists in gaming. Now let's get into it. Number 5. Free Black Ops Have you been looking to check out Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, but you didn't want to drop 60 bucks on another new game? Well, you're in luck. From February 25th until March 4th, Black Ops Cold War's online multiplayer and zombies mode will be completely free to play. The promotion is in place to celebrate the launch of Cold War Season 2, and there's actually a ton of content that's going to be available. For starters, Cold War's brand new large-scale zombies mode, Outbreak, is available completely for free, and PlayStation players will also have access to a two-player co-op zombies mode called Onslaught. If you're not into zombies and you just want to experience some good old-fashioned COD multiplayer, there's plenty of that too. Black Ops Cold War will be free for a full week, so don't miss out. Number 4. PlayStation PC for as long as we can remember, PlayStation-exclusive games have only been available for PlayStation consoles, but things are changing pretty quickly. Sony already introduced a few of its big-name exclusives onto PC last year, like Horizon Zero Dawn and Death Stranding, and it looks like it was only the beginning. The company recently announced that it's planning to bring many more of its popular first-party games to PC, starting with Days Gone this spring. So we might very well see a bunch of PS4 classics and new PS5 games alike on PC very soon. If you've been holding out hope for God of War, Spider-Man, and Bloodborne to come to PC. This is some pretty big news. Number 3. Free V-Bucks Up until 2019, Fortnite would offer loot llamas with a collection of random cosmetic items for a fee. Seeing as there's no way of knowing what would come in the llamas, Epic faced a class action lawsuit claiming the company was taking advantage of players. Now, to make up for this, Epic is giving all of those players their money back. That's right, if you purchased a randomized loot llama on your Fortnite account, you'll be awarded 1,000 V-Bucks on top of keeping the items you received. So if you bought a ton of these llamas back in the day, you might want to log into your account and check your V-Bucks balance. Who would have thought that loot llama you bought in 2017 would turn into new skins and cosmetic items in 2021? Shout out to Epic for doing right by the Fortnite community. Number 2. GTA Banned? The GTA series has received a ton of criticism over the years for its violence, and it looks like lawmakers are once again looking to ban the game. Carjackings in the city of Chicago have increased 135% over the past year, and a handful of Illinois lawmakers are pointing the blame at Rockstar's massively successful open-world game. What makes the story even crazier is the fact that many of the carjackers are under the age of 18, with children as young as 12 years old getting arrested for stealing cars. GTA 5 is already rated M for mature, but it seems like some people feel as if more needs to be done to prevent children from playing it. Number 1. COD Among Us Among Us might not be as big as it was last year, but the game's impact is still clear as day. If you want to see an example of this, look no further than a brand new COD mobile game mode that takes a ton of inspiration from the popular Inner Sloth title. The new mode, called Werewolf, puts 12 players on a map where they must complete tasks to prevent a nuclear meltdown. Each player will run around the map to collect resources and weapons while trying to stay alive. At the end of each round, players will hold a meeting to discuss who they want to vote out of the lobby. Sound familiar? COD Mobile's Werewolf mode has only been tested out in China so far, but it looks like a US release date is coming very soon. It's clear Call of Duty has taken some serious inspiration from Among Us, and we wouldn't be surprised if more games do the same as time goes on. And that covers our list of 5 gaming news stories you need to know. What games do you want to see get a mode like Among Us? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to share this video with your friends and click that bell so you know when we upload. Don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for more of the best news and lists in gaming. As always, thanks for watching.